hi everybody so here we have a story all about out of space and it's called back to earth with a bump here we go ready it's evening and Hal needs to go up to bed. He brushes his teeth and he brushes his hair. The big hands on 12 and the small hands on eight. Quick, into your bedroom. It's really quite late. Hal closes his curtains and turns out the light, curls under his blanket and snuggles up tight. But just when he's starting to snuffle and snore, his small bed takes off from the ground with a roar, a whoosh, and it's out of the window they go. His house soon becomes just a small dot below. He soars through the clouds and the dark moonlit sky and straight into space in the blink of an eye. It's Earth calling, Hal. Can you hear me? Come in. We've a mission for you. When can you begin? You're loud and you're clear. Now just tell me the plan. Please give me my mission. I'll do what I can. Please find us the sun. It has gone from the sky. It's vanished completely. We just don't know why. Okay, agrees Hal with a nod of his head. I'll track down the sun in my space travelling bed. There he is in his bed, travelling through space. What's that up ahead? Hal squints hard as he sees a shape that is pale and all round like a cheese. There are craters and mountains and dust that is grey. Could this be the sun that we see in the day? Is that the sun? No way, chuckles Hal with a shake of his head. I know what that is, and he stands on his bed. There's just no mistaking that sphere is the moon. I see it each night from my bed in my room. We must find the sun, Hal commands with a jump, before we go straight back to Earth with a bump. I must not give up. It's important to try. I'll keep up my quest for the sun in the sky. <clears throat> What's that up ahead? Hal jumps up as he spies. Some bright twinkling shapes far ahead in the sky. They sparkle and dazzle. They glow with white light. Could this be the sun that we lost in the night? What do you think? Is this the sun? Oh no, giggles Hal with a wink of his eye. I know those small diamonds high up in the sky. Those beautiful twinkling space dots are stars. I'm perfectly certain that that's what they are. We must find the sun, Hal commands with a jump before we go straight back to Earth with a bump. I must keep on trying, although it is hard. I've done well already to find all these stars. What's that up ahead? Hal stands up on tippy toes to see a vast shape that's bright red and glows. There are mountains and valleys and deserts so dry. Could this be the sun that has gone from the sky? Is this the sun? Shall we see? It can't be, says Hal, as he scratches his head. <gasps> I know what that is. It's so round and red. It's perfectly clear that this planet is Mars. I've heard it's the planet that's found next to ours. We must find the sun, Hal commands with a jump, before we go straight back to Earth with a bump. This mission is hard, it's a difficult test, but if 
I have tried, then I've given my best. <clears throat> Hal looks back at the earth. Then what does he see? <gasps> he looks very surprised. Shall we see what Hal sees? The planet is moving. It's turning around. It must be rotating without any sound. Hal zooms round to find where his bedroom has gone. And what does he find? He discovers the sun. <gasps> he found the sun. The sun doesn't budge, but the earth moves instead. Hal works it all out as he clings to his bed. When night comes, we see the bright moon in the sky. But in daytime, the sun is the thing that we spy. I knew I could do it if only I tried. Hal smiles with delight as he looks at the sky. I did not give up and I did not give in and I found the sun. Hal shouts out with a grin. The mystery is solved. Now his mission complete. Hal suddenly tired and in need of some sleep. He soars to his country, his town then his street and straight through the window, head first and then his feet. And back in his bedroom, he snuggles down tight and drifts up to sleep for the rest of the night. As the sun starts to rise, Hal wakes up with a jump and finally comes back to earth with a bump. <gasps> the end. What a lovely story. That was all about Hal going into space to find the sun. Shall we go into, face, into space to find the sun? What do you think? Here we go. Make sure you've cleared off enough space to dance. Here we go. We're going to blast off just like Hal. Everybody crouch down small. Let's move this over. Crouch down really, really small. We're going to do five little men in a flying saucer. Okay, let's see what we can spot from our flying saucer today. I know, he found the round moon and he thought 
thought it looked like cheese. I know a song all about jumping over the moon. Shall we do it? It's called Hey Diddle Diddle. story is he's seen the moon what does he spot next it's something we see every night in the sky twinkling it was the stars and I've got a lovely song that you will all know here we go <laughs> jumping over the moon we did some leaks didn't we and we found our stars and we did some very sharp star hands didn't we what did he find next this one's quite tricky it was round and it was red does anybody remember what the planet was called it was called mars okay and here we are gonna do a dance about planet groove which is mars because after Hal finds the moon and he finds the stars and he finds Mars he finally manages to find the big sun doesn't he so here we're going to 
to go around the Milky Way, okay? Because all of the planets go around the sun. So we're going to go round and round the sun, okay? And do lots of actions and we're going to pretend to hold hands with our friends. Here we go. Here we go round the Milky Way, the Milky Way, the Milky Way. Here we go round the Milky Way on a cold and starry morning. This is how we put our space suits on, space suits on, space suits on. This is how we put our space suits on on a cold and starry morning. This is the way we climb aboard, climb aboard. Good night, Melody Bear. Good night, everyone. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves a big clap. I hope you enjoyed our lesson all about space today. I hope I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.